All right, so I'm super excited to make this video for you guys today. Um, some of the most common questions we get at Carrot uh, revolve around Facebook, and specifically the Facebook Pixel. It can be a lot to understand at first, but once you kind of see the power behind the Facebook Pixel, uh, you will become you will come to appreciate what Facebook is basically giving you um, with their with their Pixel. So in this video, I want to answer some of the most popular questions we get uh, asked and try and shed some light with some quick and uh, very to the point answers. So the first assumption I wanna make is that um, you have a Facebook account and you know how to get into your ads manager or your um, power editor. So up here is where we are gonna basically get access to all of the tools that uh, Facebook allows us for uh, pixels and marketing and whatnot. So the first question, I'm gonna come over here to Pixels, is can I use the same Pixel on multiple websites? And the answer is yes, absolutely. That is what we would recommend. Um, for instance, I have two sites here. They both are uh, motivated seller sites in different markets. They both have the same Facebook Pixel installed on them. Now what happens is when somebody visits this site, the data is sent back to Facebook, the Pixel is fired, and it comes in here. Um, when I want to show an ad or build a retargeting audience, I can do that based on the URL that they came from. So we, once we're in here in Facebook, we can kind of you know rearrange the, the data as we need, but all we need to do is send it back to Facebook to do that. And the reason why having one pixel is so nice is one credit card on file. Um, so if you have a business that maybe has like a personal blog or you know another side business, you can still use that pixel and have everything managed in one place with one spend, which is really nice. So one other common thing since I'm on this uh, screen here is you'll see some discrepancies between the pixel firing and like maybe what you see in analytics or in your investor care account. This is really verbose. So this is gonna, like if you refresh the page when you're working on something or if somebody you know refreshes the page, it's gonna fire the pixel again. Um, that is just kind of one of those things that's slightly annoying about Facebook, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So yes, multiple websites can have the same pixel. Next question, where do I install my Facebook pixel on an investor care website? So that's a great question. In your care account, you can come down here to settings and then you can hop over to analytics and scripts. And I have it in the footer. Uh, Facebook recommends putting it in the head of the, of the website. So go ahead and do that. So just drop it there and click save and it'll install it on every page of your care website. To get there, you just have to click this little icon, this view pixel and that's your that's your pixel code right there so another common question is um what kind of campaign should i be running should it be a link click should it be a conversion um, x y or z so it depends on what you want to do the short answer is link clicks are going to be optimized for people who are willing to click on ads conversion uh, campaigns are going to be optimized for people who are likely to opt in to things. Uh, a conversion campaign can be, you can be charged based on the conversion, which is nice, but if you're in a crowded market, that might get expensive because uh, everybody's going to be paying for that kind of action. If you're a newer website and you just kind of want to get your brand name out in front of everybody or uh, you have a really awesome piece of content, uh, you could easily just do a link click campaign to kind of get that on people's timelines and in their news feeds to, uh, to click on. Where do I start install a conversion pixel? So this, this trips up people more, uh, more than anything else I've currently seen on Facebook. And what it has to do is these, uh, event codes. So Facebook gives us these by default, these recommended ones, and something like lead might be interesting to you. So what, what needs to happen is this little piece of code right here, uh, get out of there, this FBQ track dash lead or comma lead needs to go on the page that the, the winning action happens on. So for carrot sites, it's you know step two. So if you'll look on here on my um, step two page, in the bottom of the page, I have the base code wrapped around my conversion. Let's see here. So if we go down here, 
Okay, this is very. This is the same code that we just put in the in the settings in the scripts box. But this right here is what you would need to optimize for a conversion. So what this is basically telling Facebook is load the pixel, count it as a page view, but then send back this conversion event lead when somebody makes it to this page. So then in Facebook, when you run a campaign, you can optimize for that pixel, and you can come in here and see if that pixel is is you know being fired and um, verify that it is working. So it looks like that pixel hasn't fired on my site in a while. But um, another thing you can check right here, this green means the pixel's active and it'll tell you when the, when the last uh, pixel is fired. Cool. Okay, so how do I use a pixel to create a targeting audience? Uh, another great question and it's really simple and this kind of will show you the power of Facebook, but all you have to do is go, you saw that, but I went to audiences create audience, custom audience, website traffic. Okay, now here you can pick what domain name. This is gonna be your most recent like pixel fires or like what you've been, kind of been using the most recently. So if you don't see your website, don't panic. You can, you know, type it in, you know, type it in there. You can choose how long you want Facebook to include people into that audience. I think the maximum is like 180 days, yep. And then you name it and you, and you create the audience. Now, one thing I want to point out, which is pretty cool, is people who visit specific pages. So maybe it's somebody who's visited a specific blog post or visited your About Us page, and you want to have an ad that kind of like builds your credibility with like a testimonial, which is something we would recommend. This um, people visiting specific web pages, but not others. So this is a great example if like you wanted to say they visited my home page, but they didn't make it to step two. So I know they didn't opt in, or they visited step two, but they didn't reach thank you so I know they were only a step one lead and they didn't complete their step two um, and then people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time that one I honestly have never really used uh, because of, of this so what what I typically will do is create a couple different ones so I have a 90 day list 120 day list not a qualified lead so like that's what I was saying they didn't make it all the way to thank you uh, if they downloaded a free guide um, things like that and then on some of my other websites, you'll see I do like a three day, a seven day, a 30 day. And honestly, with a, with a seller lead, you probably wanna try and get back in front of them, you know, within a couple days, if not sooner, um, just to keep your brand at the top of their mind. Chances are they, you know, they're considering opting into other people's websites. So if you are able to follow them onto Facebook, you can just reinforce that, uh, you know, message to get them to finally click over. So then the final thing I want to cover in this video so it doesn't get super long is lookalike audiences. So what can happen after you build a um, retargeting audience is you can come in here, you can create a lookalike audience. So what a lookalike audience is, is Facebook goes and finds similar people within its network. So that's, you know, people on Facebook, but they use third party data as well as Facebook data to closely match those people. So if you have a list of, you know, 100 people who have, you know, asked for a quote on your website, you can give that to Facebook and Facebook can try and um, find other people who match similar criteria that would also be interested in getting a quote. Uh, it, you know, it is kind of hit or miss. It just depends. Like your mileage will vary, but it is definitely something that gives you a little bit more, uh, you know, targeting on Facebook and a strategic advantage if you have, you know, 100 leads in your carrot account versus maybe zero, you might have to try a different approach. So those are some of the most common questions we get asked uh, about the Facebook Pixel. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have more questions, leave a comment uh, below this video or uh, on the blog post that this will be on and we can follow up with you guys there. Thanks.